Are you a martial artist? No. Because it sounds like you appreciate the finer points. Mm. I just observe things closely. I'm a film critic. It is important to find your Poe, someone who sees the world in, in a positive light. And by the way, thank you for getting everyone excited to see it in a theater. I think it might be the best Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sacharita. I am here from India on behalf right. of PVR Inox. That's the largest cinema chain in the country. Oh, Saw the movie last night. It's really fun. Jack, my first question is to you. These movies have always had like these great messages, right? Like heroes come in all shapes and sizes. There's no such thing as too many dumplings. Now you've done four and there have been series as well. What are you taking home from uh, the Kung Fu Panda movies from Poe? yourself every time. Well, in terms of messaging, I think it's about spiritual growth and I think it's about trust and uh, friendship and the, the value and importance of it and the power of love. Yeah. And it's also just about having a really great time in the cinema. Like while I, when I was watching it with the audience yesterday at the premiere, I was so excited and I was like having visions of people seeing it all over the world in theaters and just feeling like proud to be part of it because I think it is an, an important communal experience, and, and I feel like we're going to be helping out in that cause. Yeah. That's not answering your question at all. <laughs> I really took it somewhere else. <laughs> those are some good kicks you had going on before the screening Thank yesterday. Thank you. So I appreciate those, and the black and white panda suit was, was nice. Good. I touch, have to touch. tell you, though, those kicks I did in the theater, those were the best kicks I had all day, because yeah. all day I was warming up outside on the carpet, you want him all yeah. that too. Like he, yeah. he like his he, he had like, like some you did the fl yeah you did yeah. Yeah like the ankle movement even with the knee and everything. Yeah that, that leg went high noticing. up in there yeah. yeah Are pretty, you a martial artist? No. Cuz it sounds like you appreciate the finer points. Mm. I just observe <laughs> things closely. I'm a film critic so. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Hi, my name is Sacharita. I'm here from India on behalf of PBR Inox. That's the largest cinema chain in the country. Great. Yes. Saw the movie last night. Really fun. First question, Mike. When you're making a film like Kung Fu Panda, which is such a popular franchise, um, it's made money. Does all of Hollywood want to be a part of it when you're coming yeah. back after eight years? Yeah, you spoiled it's great. for choice. It's great. It's it was a good problem to have. We we took so long to get to the theaters eight years because we wanted to make sure we had the perfect story to tell. Yeah. We didn't just want to make another one. We wanted this to be the next evolution of Jack Black playing Poe and uh, put everything we could in it. Once we decided on that story, it became very easy for me because we had a lot of artists that worked on all of them, yeah. from Kung Fu Panda 1 to now, but then we also had a whole group of new artists, and some of them were kids watching the first one in the theater that now were getting to animate the Kung Fu Panda, and they had tears in their eyes. Oh. They were so happy to be working on Kung Fu Panda and giving it their all, so it was really a great experience. How should we do this? Quick and painless? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or slow and painful? Slow and the action in this one is better than all the other Kung Fu Panda movies that have come before, especially Poe's opening sequence when he's fighting a literal stingray. So talk to me a little bit about um, going crazy on the action with this one. Well, uh, it was interesting because uh, we, for the first time ever, uh, we hired uh, live action uh, stunt choreographers. Mm. And they came in and they videotaped themselves doing a whole bunch of moves and using uh, authentic weapons because uh, Poe has the Staff of Wisdom that he got from the last film from Ugwe. So we got to uh, have our stunt coordinators use those. And in fact, some of them attached uh, foxtails to the back of them so we could, the animators could watch the tails move okay. around as they did their kung fu moves. Yeah. And not only has technology evolved, but kung fu fighting has evolved too. And so we got to uh, take all those advancements and show that footage to our animators and put it all in the film. It was a blast. And the guy they have that plays, uh, that did the stunt choreography for, uh, for um, Poe mm. is a big Poe-shaped man. Nice. It's really cool, How really fun. cool to watch him move. What I love about Jen Aquafina is that she just makes her own way in this world, right? Much like you have mm. coming, because being a YouTuber and that's where I post my videos as well. Oh, cool. There's like a sense of like joy when I see you prosper in your career. Oh. But there must have been moments like Jen when you found yourself to be alone and like kind of facing roadblocks. Mm. Did you find yourself um, looking for a Poe in those moments and did that actually happen in Hollywood for you? Wow, <laughs> that's, that's a crazy quite personal question. Yeah, no, it's, it, 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 no it's, it's like, yeah, I feel like I'm in therapy. It's great. Um, you know, I, I think that, yeah, sure, definitely. I think uh, Jen is a complex female character that um, I think we all have to kind of make our way. And I think, uh, in a sense, uh, it is important to find your Poe, someone who 
t sees the world in, in a positive light yeah. and someone who gives wa wants to give people a chance yeah. um, and, and, and wants to trust, right? And I think that if you if you are ever feel hardened at all, you know, it's, it's nice to have that energy. And I think that that uh, I have definitely found people like that in, in, along the way to, to help. Um, now, how far does this professional relationship go? You've done movies together before. You did Jumanji, and then you also performed at the Tenacious D Super Concert. Is that, that was correct? years ago? So I, I was like freaked out. That was one of the biggest <laughs> shows I've ever. I was I was doing YouTube back then, and and Jack invited me to his Festival Supreme, and it was I was like going crazy, but, and it was, I remember I was performing um, one of the, obviously like opening acts because there were like huge musicians there and Jack came out in a full devil out, outfit and watched my set. It was like the nicest thing ever. Uh, so, that, that, so that actually goes back pretty far and then we did another movie together, so yeah. it's been really cool. Yeah, when was that? Was that or was that 2014? 2014. 2014, 10 yeah. years ago. Now you kids be careful of those fireworks. <laughs> The thing about making movies for children, and you know a thing or two about that, is they have to be parent approved as well, right? What are you really telling my children? Because especially with a character like Poe, if my nieces are watching Poe, they're believing everything he's saying because they just love him yeah. so much. Um, is there an additional sense of responsibility when you're writing specifically and creating a movie for children? Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, we create the movie for everyone. Yeah kids and adults. And a lot of that is just, we make sure we really hone in on a theme we believe in. And in this one, it's about change. And I think that's something that kids could relate to because they go from grade school to junior high to high school, they're going through changes. It can be very scary. Adults, it can be very scary for us moving from one job to the next or maybe changing from one home to another home, uh, moving locations. And so we really wanted to dig into that theme and say, uh, if there is change in life, you're not losing who you were, you're just building upon who you were and becoming something even, even better. So again, we want this to appeal to everyone. And that's the way we look at it. This next very serious, important question comes from my seven-year-old niece, and I quote, I liked the third one because it was funny. I want the fourth one to be funnier. I oh. suppose it's more of a demand than a question, it's but how do you respond? It's kind of a criticism, too. There's a, I feel it sounds an attitude in there, too. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. Got to, so how do you respond at this time? My well, name's Mackenzie. I was laughing. Uh, I think it's funnier. I think it might be the best Kung Fu Panda. Oh, really? Wow. Um, but uh, yeah, the laughs were coming strong. Yeah, dude. Uh, we were killing it. We were killing it. And also, you know who was killing me, especially <laughs> was uh, my two dads, James <laughs> yeah, Hong yeah, and dude. Brian Cranston. Would, King killed I it. was dying. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> to uh, yeah, to judge from the audience reaction, we were getting tons of laughs. We paid them all twenty-five dollars, but still, I didn't get twenty-five dollars. I was in the audience okay, last well, night. Okay, well, well, we will Venmo you after this. But, uh, still, but yeah, don't look. Look under your chair when we're done with this interview. You might find a little surprise. Now, behind all the nice colors and the flashes and everything, there are very serious actors who are involved yeah. in these films. Like Viola Davis joins the cast. Brian Cranston's, of course, in it. Gary Oldman was a part at one point. Yep. Um, is it one of those projects where everyone's like really desperate to get greenlit so they can really like get away from the serious stuff they're doing and have fun in the recording studio? I think so, and they <laughs> do have fun. And that's something I wanted to say about Aquafina and yeah. Jack. I'm sure you met Jack Black. Yes, just did. So they are so funny that I don't think people recognize that they are also really terrific actors, making very interesting choices For and sure. digging deep into their characters. And they're so funny. I don't think we recognize that. But that's something that I learned uh, from Jack on this one. And I'm like, wow, you're really getting into this. You're a serious actor. So yes, accomplished actors who want to be funny. And I think funny actors who want to really get serious and maybe have some heart as well. I think everyone's just waiting for their phone to be like, all right, it's green. Yeah. Let's go, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. <laughs> Stand back. I'm going to kick my butt. Why must people go watch Kung Fu Panda 4 in a movie theater when it comes out on Women's Day? Oh, man. Uh, I, well, it's, it, it, it's Women's Day, right? <laughs> uh, so that's one reason to go out and celebrate something. I think that in a theater, it, it, it is, it, when I say that, that, you know, the technology, the animators really went off on this one, and it's like, it, it, it like, there, it's, you need to see it in its full glory to see the detail of like how how much of a of a, of a labor of love these things are, yeah. how much how much detail goes into it. Yeah, I think it, and then theater and then feeling that the the laughs, um, young and old, you know, I think everyone can enjoy it. Why must everybody go to a movie theater and watch Kung Fu Panda on International Women's Day? I know, isn't that great? I w uh, I was just informed of that, and we have a great strong female. 
Fox Jin character in this movie, we also have for the first time ever a female villain that's smarter than all the other villains and more powerful than all the other villains, the chameleon. Just works out that it's coming out on international. It looks like we planned it. Viola Davis and Aquafina planned it to yeah. come out on that day, but um, I'm really excited about that. I, I'm so excited I forgot your question. Why no, must everyone go watch it on a big screen? Oh, well, uh, because we really made this for the big screen. Mm -hmm. We put everything into the visuals. We got uh, all the greatest technology to make it the furriest, Kung Fuiest movie we could do. And then furthermore, with the sound design, the mix, the score yeah. by Hans Zimmer and Steven is just spectacular. So we really design it to be seen on the big screen. So I hope everyone sees it opening weekend. And by the way, thank you for getting everyone excited to see it in a theater. That's really important. Like there's 500 people that work on this film. Yeah. It's really important to us. Yeah. Hans Zimmer, you have to go watch a Hans Zimmer movie in a big theater. You can't not see, yeah. Han, you can't not hear Hans, Hans Zimmer. Zimmer on the Dolby surround sound. By the way, not to mention Jack uh, and uh, Kyle, Tenacious D, they did a song at the end of this, Britney yes. Spears song. That's right. And I don't know if you noticed, we sent that song to London and Hans Zimmer got his 80 piece orchestra and they added, they weaved in Poe's Kung Fu Panda theme into it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Britney Spears, even, ex Hans Zimmer. That's so Britney great. Spears, done by Tenacious D with Hans Zimmer. I, I, it's just incredible. You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't go to a movie theater and watch it. Y exactly. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Mr. Black and Aquafina. It was thank really you. nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Great, uh, great questions. You yeah, really, really did good. your homework. Yes, you did. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, thank Mike. You. I had a great time watching the movie last night. Great. Thank you thank so, you so much. much.